Have you ever seen a cat that likes potato chips? Killer has already had a whole can of food this morning and some dry food and will not leave me alone. Put it back over there. Don't knock it off. And now he wants some of my potato chips. <laughs> I've never seen a cat eat potato chips. Alright, we're down to the little ones in the bag now. There you go. That's all you get. <laughs> Beats all I ever seen. Alright, let's get back on the boat project just a little bit. I've been working on it this morning. Uh, sometimes just got to take a break away from the shop. Now, I've been trying to get this thing finished up for a long time. So I'm just about there. One thing I want to do, and this is not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. This front live well is what I'm going to use for my cooler. Put the icing all in, ice and fish and all that kind of stuff. The back one I'll use for live bait and live well type thing. I'm going to shut the water off to this one, which is just turn the knob closed. But one thing about it is the back one is a brown tan color. You can see in there. This one being black, you can't see in there. So what I'm going to do, I bit, I got a can of this. I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the drain there. And I'm going to put a coat of this, uh, flex seal rubber in the can in the bottom and up the sides a little bit so we can see plus that black color will draw heat even if it's closed up y'all know how that goes so let's put us a little piece of tape right there don't want to cover up the drain hole and also on the lid, I never painted this. And this is treated plywood. Let's just put a little bit like this and we'll spray some of it on there too. Now this may be a mistake. Now if it is, I'll know soon enough. But <laughs> Because fishing season for me is here and I have got to go and we'll talk about the uh, the motor and all that stuff that I worked on earlier in a little while did not go quite as planned but uh, it is what it is no way I can afford a new boat so or a new motor so here we go all right let me walk around there and put a piece on Killer will not stay out from under my feet, so I put him up in here with me. All he wants to do is eat. That is the eating this cat. Now, if this rubber sealant works out, I'm going to come from underneath. I got room to get under there from in that other hatch and put some spray foam in there for some insulation because it'll work fine in the winter, but the summertime uh, needs to be insulated a little bit. All right, let's take a break and then we'll come right back. All right, just wanted to. Didn't want the clip to run too long. And this is supposed to go on just like spray paint. And 
and I'm not concerned if it runs a little bit. And this is mainly just to see, be able to see down in there. Well, I got really runny over there. looks pretty good let me walk around here and spray this side here try not to get it on the camera Well, made a mess, didn't I? I wasn't planning on doing that. Ain't gotta be pretty, it's just gotta work. I see, and the wind's blowing at me, so I'm gonna spray this, but I'm not gonna record that because the wind will blow right into the camera and I don't want it to get on there. All right, there we go 24 to 48 hours dry time. I just read the can, so we're not expecting any rain, it's not real cold. So I will just leave this sitting just like this until tomorrow. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's going to be really easier to see whatever's in there. There we go. All right, I got the vacuum out and I'm fixing to vacuum this thing. I'm sort of ashamed of it that it's... Uh, got this dirty and messy just sitting here but uh let's see our rubber coat is seems to be drying it's been about an hour i've got it propped open i'm just going to leave it overnight and not worry with it it should dry fine i hope it does okay once again the main purpose was just so i can see in there see what's in there so we're going to vacuum now the the motor lift the homemade motor lift you notice i've taken it off it worked and it quit it worked and it quit worked and it quit and then it quit again even after all that last i've done to it so i'm done with it not bothering with it anymore uh i'll just have to wait until i can get a a real motor lift now this model motor some of my friends are having a hard time understanding what i'm trying to say this model motor was put on pontoon boats up in the north country this motor has only been in salt water twice down here it is a late 80s model motor <coughs> pardon me it did not come with a motor lift on it with a hydraulic lift so it's very big it's very heavy it does have the assist the shock assist so what i'm going to have to do for now is lift it by hand uh, when i put it in the water when i launch i'm going to take it out and if i hit a stump or something like that while i'm fishing on the river i'm just going to climb back here and lift it off of it 
uh, maybe I can find something. If anybody knows what I'm talking about with the thing and has a a used lift motor for this thing, let me know. Maybe we can work out something. You can get the aftermarkets, but they are between eight and a thousand dollars, and I just I can't do that. No possible way. Excuse me, but I think in the meantime, I can get by with it. I took the cowling off of it to do something else. It's over there. I'll put that back on. Now, the only problem left after it's cleaned up is the, the foot is leaking oil. Now, I'm going to lift it, take that prop off, and see what I've got to do to change that seal there's a big uh, spanner wrench nut type thing in there maybe that's loose i don't know but i'm gonna look at it and if i can change it without taking the whole foot apart again which it's been off of there like three times maybe four times <coughs> pardon me uh me and my buddy scott took it off and went through it but i uh, didn't know it was leaking or we would have replaced it then but uh anyway there we go once i get it vacuumed out real good we'll get one more picture of it and hopefully in a few days i can take it out won't be tomorrow i've got a lot of stuff to do got a lot of knife work to do so uh we'll see Got my little light all mounted up there. Everything works. All the rewiring works. So, uh, happy with all that. So, let me get the vacuum cleaner running and we'll take one more look before I am done for today. All right. Sorry about the sunlight filtering in, but, uh, it's starting to get dark. Everything clean, vacuumed. This is still drying. I'm going to leave that open for the night. It's not spotless, but it's okay. I need to get a uh, damp rag and wipe off everything. The seats and all this kind of stuff. But uh, I ain't worried about that right now. Now I've got to clean up the gas tank. Get it back in. I'm going to go ahead and dump what little bit of gas is in there. And start over again with some new stuff. And in a couple days, we'll get it fired off and see, uh, make sure it still runs. I'm sure it will. And I've still got to get it picked up and fit the, check that seal in the foot and see what's going on with that. But, uh, huh. I don't, that may be a problem, may not be. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I'm just about ready to fish. If nothing else, I'll just put it in and run the trailer motor. Brand new battery, trailer motor battery, brand new cranking battery. Uh, everything I wired works, so we should be good to go. Now, thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see y'all in a couple of days with something else.